Hello, great people. Welcome back. This is another edition of Cooking with Love, and I'm Chef Green. Today, we're going to be doing shepherd's pie. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to start with um, browning our ground beef, and I'm going to add some diced onion. This is only going to be um, a small pan of triple fire so now I'm it. And then while we're browning, while the ground beef is browning, I'm going to also get my vegetables started. Okay, so I like to do mixed vegetables um, in my shepherd's pie. And I've already put a, one stick of butter in there because I want my veggies to be nice and buttery in the pie. I'm gonna place the pop on there and let that steam cook real good. And Continue to brown the ground beef. And for this recipe, what I'm gonna be using are um, my make my homemade mashed potatoes. Um, the recipe that have has all we already have a video for. Um, and so I've already made those. I went ahead and made those to begin. I mean, finish browning it so when I was straining the excess juice from it. So we've strained the excess juices and now we're gonna season up. Oh, that first one we'll season this out as accent. And some black pepper. And some hot pepper. What we want to do, I'm going to add a little browning to it because I'm about to make a, some <clears throat> flour water. Well, I've already made the flour water. And we're going to thicken maybe about a tablespoon of browning in there. And we're going to um, thicken, make a kind of like a gravy for this. Okay, and we'll take a look at our vegetables. What I like to do is just go ahead and melt the butter really well. Don't have to cook it for a long period of time because once we we're gonna we put it all together, we'll put it into the oven and it'll be it'll uh, finish heating thoroughly in the oven. Okay. Let's 
sizzle, I'm pretty sure. But not as juicy as I'd like it to be. I don't want it watery or runny, but I do want it juicy. Let me give it a minute before I add. Just my seasonings in any way. add a little sea salt to it. bottom of our pan with the meat mixture. I mentioned the camera person. It's my, my youngest son, Julian, and he does an amazing job. I want to thank him for always doing an amazing job. Out of all the videos that I've posted, he's videoed all of them except for one. And I really appreciate him. I like to put a layer of cheese. The meat. I'm sorry. And then we'll add the vegetables on top of that. I want the, the shepherd pie to be really cheesy. And I just added a little sea salt to the veggies. To the veggies. Um, Seasonings on this. Add 
add some more cheese and slide it off into the oven to melt the cheese because everything is, is at this point is done. I actually heated the vegetables a lot more than I had planned to. So. doesn't have to stay in the oven for long. Just long enough to melt the cheese. or so and we'll let you see how it looks when it comes out okay we're back and we're gonna look and see what we have here okay so I don't know what that last bit of cheese that I sprinkled on here had a problem melting but it only took the other cheese about 10 minutes or less um, to melt something y'all don't know about me I hate corners don't like them at all. So I guess what, I'm not gonna eat it. No, I'm not gonna. Good. It tastes, it's like hearty. It's like a meal. Because it is one, all wrapped up into one dish. Okay, great people. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. This has been another edition of Cooking with Love. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,